The effective use of renewable resources requires efficient and high-density energy storage technology. This need has sparked a renewed interest in lithium metal batteries, which are known to have much higher energy density than the currently ubiquitous lithium-ion batteries. Lithium metal batteries contain a lightweight lithium metal anode instead of a conventional carbon-based one, whose theoretical capacity is almost 10 times greater. This property gives them their advantage, but also causes a major drawback. In lithium metal batteries, there is a non-uniform deposition of lithium on the electrodes. When liquid electrolytes are used, this leads to the rapid formation of lithium dendrites, which can short-circuit the cell and makes it likely to explode. Solid-state electrolytes can alleviate these problems. A particular solid-state electrolyte, the garnet-type ceramic LLZO, has proven to be a promising option for lithium metal batteries. However, to date, the production of sheets of LLZO from its powder has required extremely high temperatures, making it infeasible for use on an industrial scale. Recently, scientists from Tokyo Metropolitan University developed a method to synthesize a solid electrolyte at room temperature. They used a sheet-making method called tape casting to turn aluminum-doped LLZO slurry into a flexible sheet. They then impregnated this sheet with ionic liquid so as to create an efficient pathway for the lithium ions to travel through. This process is simple and feasible on an industrial scale. Experiments to test the efficacy of a cell containing the synthesized sheet show that reversible cycling was possible at both 30 and 60 degrees Celsius. Further, the sheet proved to have high flexibility, thermal stability, conductivity, and energy density. All these desirable characteristics give it an exciting role in building an energy-efficient, clean, and truly smart future in which smartphones needn't be charged for several days in a row, electric vehicles run for more than 800 kilometers, and wearable and flexible electronic devices are commonplace.